Hello and Namaste friends and aviators. This video is primarily for newly released or about to be released first officers and pilots and gives you a basic understanding of RT with the ATC at Indian airports. In this video, I have covered the RT till pushback stage of the flight. This RT is being done at the metro stations or the big and busy airports in India wherein they have a separate frequency for clearance or delivery. So let's start with today's RT session with this disclaimer. So there is one particular thing about Indian RT is that before departure from any station, you have to specify number of people or souls on board and confirm that they have cleared their security check. This total number on board includes passenger, crew, children, basically the sum total of all people on board. So we start with RT at Delhi for our Delhi to Mumbai route, wherein we have a clearance or delivery frequency. You can find this frequency here at the Jepson airport chart. You may also see the Mumbai chart too and its delivery frequency. Let's consider our flight number as Wingsdom 123. From our parking bay, we give this call to Delhi delivery. Delhi delivery, Wingsdom 123, the Delhi delivery will reply. Go ahead. We say Wingsdom 123, Bay 2, Victor Tango, Whiskey India November, request departure clearance for Mumbai, which is our destination, requested flight level, flight level 360, QNH 1013. So I'll say to Delhi delivery, Delhi delivery, Wingsdom 123, Bay 2, Victor Tango, Whiskey India November, request departure clearance for Mumbai, Requested flight level, information whiskey, QNH 1013. The requested flight level would be displayed on your computerized flight plan and the ATIS designator you must have received before you take this delivery. So when you take ATIS, it starts with an ATIS designator. It may be Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, depending upon the time of the day. It would issue you clearance as Wingsdom 123 is clear to Mumbai via flight plan route or maybe the route itself, which is Quebec 2, flight level 360, departure runway 28, Ribbon 5 Bravo departure, which is your SID, which is standard instrument departure, transition if there is any, initially climb flight level 60, squawk 3253. QNH may or may not be mentioned by the ATC. Your readback would be Wingsum 123 is clear to Mumbai via Quebec 2. Flight level 360, runway 28, Ribbon 5 Bravo departure, squawk 3253. ATC would tell you clearance, read back correct, call when ready. And your reply would be will go, which means will comply. So you will call them once you are ready. So once you receive your final load and trim sheet, which states the final number of passengers on board, you give them a call. Delhi delivery, wings from 123, total number on board, 180, security check completed, request changeover, which means you request a changeover to the ground frequency. Now here I would like to mention about DLC or data link clearance. So some aircrafts or I would say most of the modern day aircrafts have data link clearance facility and uh, these airports also have data link clearance facility wherein they send this clearance through data link. So the data link clearance specifies the frequency to be contacted. So in Delhi, most of the time it's delivery frequency, which they want you to contact on. In that case, your call would be Delhi delivery, Wingsdom 123 with data link clearance or DLC, total number on board 180, security check completed, request changeover. Delivery would reply Wingsdom 123, total number on board 180 copied, contact ground 121.9 or it may tell you to stand by for changeover if there is congestion at the airport. So it may tell you an estimated time in minutes to call back for changeover again or it may tell your sequence for the same. So it would be a good idea when it tells you to stand by for a changeover to start your chrono or maybe start your timer. So you have an rough estimate of how much time has already elapsed since the ATC advise you to stand by. An important point to note here is that though this is the format in which the communication takes place, 
but owing to traffic congestion at the airport or controller being busy the controller may or may not read back in this way or the read back may be curtailed as the frequency has to be kept free to communicate with other aircrafts so this was it in the next video we will talk about non metro or such airports where there is no delivery frequency and other videos put emphasize on various phases of flight like push back taxi before take off so keep watching this space for more videos also if you like the video like share and subscribe or follow my another channel wingstrom which is full of aviation knowledge and the link and the link to the channel wingstrom is given in the description please subscribe to that channel also thank you for watching the video jai hind